Welcome to No Nonsense Reviews and How To's, How to Hack Your Wii, Part 2. I know at the end of the Part 1 video, I said that I would teach you how to add games in this video, but before we do that, I want to show you how to back up your Wii in case something happens, in case it crashes. Uh, it's very unlikely that that will happen, and this is completely optional, of course, but if you want to do it, follow along. If not, you can skip ahead to the next video. If you're still following along, go to the website below in the description. You're going to want to download a program called Preloader. This is where you're going to find it. So once you're on this website, go to the download link here on the right. You're going to need to wait a few seconds for this ad to go away and then just hit download again. So once you've hit download, you'll see the Preloader file. Um, you're going to want to unzip it, of course. Once you've unzipped it, go into it, and again, you only want to concentrate on the two folders here. Don't worry about the README files, so you're going to want to copy or cut those, and you're going to want to put those on that 16 or 32 gigabyte SD card. So paste them into here. Once they're in here, that's really it for the computer. You're going to want to move over to your Wii. Once you're on the Wii, click on the Homebrew channel hit start once you're in here you're gonna see this preloader menu that's brand new don't worry about it for now just hit home on your Wii remote and click on launch boot me that's what we want to do right now so once you've done that, you're going to notice that your Wii remote doesn't work anymore. You actually have to go over to this system and you have to use your power and your reset buttons to do things. So power will scroll and reset will select. So you want to scroll over to these gears here, press reset, you'll get this menu. Once in here, make sure you're over top of the green arrow, hit reset again. Once in here, you're going to notice your Wii is going through this, this menu here where it's processing blocks. This will take a while. I've skipped through it as you can see. But I've got a few blocks here. There are four of them that are black. They're bad blocks for whatever reason. I don't know why, but what's going to happen is that it's going to go through this whole green screen thing again until there are no more bad blocks. I'm going to skip through this again because it will take a while and when you see it at the end you'll see there are no more of these bad black boxes left. So there we go. It's just getting through the last of them. And now there are no more bad blocks remaining. Once this is done just hit the reset button on your Wii system to exit and it will bring you back to the previous menu. From here, you just want to exit. So I'm going to scroll over to this uh, arrow at the end here by pressing the power button. Once I'm here, I hit reset. And I can just exit to the, the Wii menu from here. So again, make sure you scroll over to the Wii menu and hit the reset button. What this is going to do is it is going to reset your system. So this is your home screen. Press A to continue. And we want to install Preloader now. So Go to the Homebrew channel, click Start. Once you're in here, click on the Preloader mod. Hit Load. You're going to get this screen, you're going to wait a little while. But once uh, it tells you to finish waiting, just press the plus button on your controller now to continue. So I'm going to press plus. You're going to see this screen here. It's loading a bunch of things. It's pretty quick. And I'm going to press A again. And that's it. So Preloader has installed. What I want to do now is I want to exit to the system menu. But while I'm doing that, hold down the reset button. By doing that, when the system launches, you're going to get this brand new menu. This is where you would go if your Wii crashed for whatever reason. Very unlikely, but if it ever did and you needed to you know, reset your Wii, this is where you would go to do it. I'm not going to show you how to do that today. I'll do that in another video, but essentially that's it. So, you know, thanks for watching. 
Hope you enjoyed this and in the next videos I'm going to show you how to actually install some games.